I own a luxury hot sauce business. Believe it or not, I have been selling Olivium for $170 a bottle for years now. I have sold thousands of these things and I have made almost no money. Let me explain. My wife loves plants and about eight years ago, she planted a habanero plant. And this thing just took off and started producing so many peppers, it was ridiculous. And we didn't know what to do with them. And I thought, hey, I like hot sauce. Let me read some recipes online and I'll make some hot sauce. And over the next couple of months, I ended up making this sauce that ended up being my favorite sauce, but this plant kept producing peppers. And so I just kept making sauce and I just started giving it away. I took it to my jujitsu gym, gave it to everyone in the gym. For Christmas that year, I gave it to all my friends and family. And so many people told me the exact same thing. Lee, this is the best hot sauce I've ever had. You need to start a hot sauce business. So of course, you know, I thought I had something special. I start looking into making a business and I learned that this is kind of a joke within the hot sauce industry. Apparently, at one point in every man's life, he's gonna make hot sauce, he's gonna give it to a friend, the friend is gonna say, this tastes great, you should start a hot sauce business. He's gonna go buy a bunch of standard hot sauce bottles, make some goofy label, and it's not going to work because this market is completely saturated. I should have just stopped right there and realized this is a bad idea, this is not the market I wanna get into. But instead, I thought, you know, I have different skills. I went to school for graphic design, I'm a professional photographer and videographer. If I created a completely different type of hot sauce that was reaching a completely different demographic, maybe I wouldn't have to compete at all. I would like create something new. And so instead of creating a generic hot sauce with another goofy name, I thought, what if I go high end? What if I create something that looks more like a cologne that you could be proud to give to somebody as a gift because it's a really high end thing. And you know, maybe I could sell it at a premium price of like 40 or 50 bucks. So I started coming up with custom bottle designs, but when I looked into manufacturing, these factories had a minimum order quantity of 30,000 bottles. Obviously the cost was outrageous, but also, where am I going to put 30,000 bottles? I don't even know if this is a good idea. I needed a minimum viable product that I could quickly bring to market and see if I could sell it at all. I put the custom bottle idea on hold and I just used a standard whiskey bottle. I found this stainless wine pour that looked really cool and it matched perfectly with this bottle. And then I found a manufacturer that could make me custom boxes in much more realistic order quantities. I designed the bottle, I designed the box, I designed the website, I designed all the marketing and advertising. I was the one that took all the photographs and the video now, I enjoyed doing all of that, but I also decided that I was going to be the one to be cooking all this sauce myself, I was going to be bottling it, and I was going to be shipping it every single week. And then I realized, well, if I'm gonna be doing all that, I'm gonna have to charge way more than 40 or $50 a bottle. I mean, this was already extremely expensive because I was buying everything in such low quantities. So I decided to price it real high, around $170 a bottle, just as a test, right? and the worst possible thing happened. It kind of worked. Immediately after running ads, I was able to sell out every single week that I cooked these bottles. The problem is that this product is so expensive that I had to send around 1,000 people to my website with advertising to get approximately one person to purchase. As you can imagine, this is extremely expensive. And in some cases, I would actually lose money for the entire month just on ad spend. Now I kept telling myself, that's fine, I'll just work for free for a little while because I'm building up the brand and eventually everyone's gonna know about this and this is all going to start selling and then I can turn off the ads and we're just gonna print money. It's been about three years now and that never happened. If I turn off my ads, my sales drop by 95 to 99%. I've been killing myself cooking, packaging, and shipping hot sauce every week for years now for no reason. And everyone in my life thinks I'm crazy. My wife was never into this idea. My business partner at F-Stoppers, he thinks that I am a total idiot and uh, this is one of the dumbest ideas I've ever had. My parents and my brother just think it's some cute hobby that I do. All of my successful business owner friends think I'm absolutely nuts cooking hot sauce every week for years. They're like, what the hell is wrong with you? And honestly, every time I have to fulfill these orders, I think they're right. I have absolutely never worked this hard on anything for no reason, no benefit, no money. And uh, I do feel crazy at this point. I feel like, what the hell am I doing? So that's the story of how I started a luxury hot sauce business and why it failed. But you know, I never actually attempted my real idea. 
I didn't want to sell handmade hot sauce by me for $170 a bottle. That wasn't the idea. I wanted to sell high-end hot sauce in stores that stood out that you could give as a gift, but it certainly didn't need to be made personally by me. What was that minimum order quantity? I finalized the design of my custom bottle. I created a wooden lid with a metal insert and found a manufacturer to create both. I designed the label and a new box that could work in stores. I found a co-packer in Florida that was willing to hand make my sauce just like I do it, and I shipped bottles, boxes, and lids to his warehouse. I was there the day everything arrived. I helped cook the very first batch. I signed thousands of inserts that were placed in every single box. I photographed and created over 100 different pieces of marketing material for this sauce. I got my hands on a high-speed video camera, and over the course of a month, I filmed an entire commercial completely by myself. And as of today, after five years of working on this, my product, the way I first envisioned it, is finally up for sale on Amazon.com. I honestly don't know if this is a good idea. This is the most time and money I have ever invested into anything in my entire life. I feel like I've gone so deep with this, I just had to see it all the way through. This might be a great success or it might be the ultimate failure. I promise I will update you guys in six months or 12 months, I'll let you know how it's going. Um, but right now, I am thrilled and I am terrified at the exact same time. Thanks for watching.